Hello, welcome to Maths with Lloydie. This is my third attempt trying to make this video right first time. Uh, so it's going to be right third time, hopefully. Um, we have got today, we've got question nine on the Core Maths 2019 summer paper. Um, we're at 90 subscribers. I've released uh, question eight earlier today. I'm hoping to get question nine done right this time um, and then get that released as well. Made a very stupid mistake and I'll explain to you what I did previously. Okay, so um, please subscribe. And if I mentioned it, subscribe. We need to get to over 100 by the end of February for sure. So question nine. I've left a few bits on here. I've basically got rid of it, a lot of it, though, and we're going to start again. Um, we are looking at question nine, which is so important because it is a big 10 mark question. So let me just get to my highlighter. Use Great Britain's motorways from the prelim material. Here is a map of the M1 motorway. And I've already done a bit of measuring because I am on the Surface Pro, so my ruler doesn't work very well. But the length of that M1 from Leeds to London, I've, I've made a note of it, is six centimetres. And it does say that Northampton to Luton in the question is a certain amount. So um, I've measured that at one centimetre. The motorway has three lanes each way for just over half of its length. Nearly all of the remainder of the motorway is four lanes. So my first assumption is it says just over half its length. It's okay for me to round it, but I'm going to say half of it has got three lanes, and that means it's got six lanes. And I've also said two hard shoulders, which we'll come to in just a minute. The rest of it is four lanes. Um, therefore, we've got eight lanes here, and then we'll have two lanes here. Two hard shoulders, sorry. Right. The distance from Northampton to Luton along the motorway is 36 miles. That is also mentioned with the one centimeter. The cost of resurfacing the motorway is 15 pound per square meter. And then we have one mile is equal to 1600 meters. Okay, this is the bit from the prelim material. So uh, remember my head of math showing me this and saying what kind of questions could come up. So we had a little brainstorm session. Um, motorways usually have at least three lanes in each direction. Some have as many as six lanes. I'm not going to six lanes, I'm not doing it. The standard width of a lane on a motorway is 3.65 meters. There is a spare strip of road on the left-hand side in each direction of the motorway. This is called the hard shoulder and is usually for emergency use only. The, whole sh the hard shoulder is 3.3 meters wide. There is a constant program of roadworks to improve, widen and resurface and build motorways in Great Britain. The cost of maintaining and building motorways is very, very high. Yes, it is. And that's why we have to pay a lot of road tax. Right, the question, estimate the cost, and I do need to just change my pen here because this is 9A. Um, estimate the cost of resurfacing the whole of the M1 motorway. Your estimate should include the hard shoulder. Yes, of course. State any assumptions you make, and you must show your working. So I've already, I've left my assumptions in. I was not going to rewrite these because my handwriting is terrible at the best of times. 50% is three lanes. 50% is four lanes. Two hard shoulders throughout, and I've assumed a rectangular shape. So I've assumed that it's a straight line. Of course it's not. It will wave to and fro, left and right. But I've assumed that it is a straight line. I've, I'm also going to add an assumption. I'm going to assume there is a hard shoulder throughout. Okay, so a hard shoulder throughout. Right, let's get down to it. So we're going to have a rectangular shape. Now, because the road will have sort of three lanes this way, three lanes this way, and then a, a central reservation with a hard shoulder bolted on, I'm just going to snap them two things together. So we're going to have a width of sort of six lanes plus two hard shoulders on this rectangle. And we're going to have eight lanes and two hard shoulders. So the mistake I made earlier was I calculated three and four. And then I forgot to multiply it by two and I felt stupid. I got to the end and I checked it. it was like, oh my God, I'm so far out. This is ridiculous. Right. We need to know this length here, don't we? And this is going to be half of the total of the M1 because half of it is six lanes, half of it is eight lanes. So I've worked out that we've got one centimeter for Northampton, which is 36 miles. So we need to multiply that by six. Let's go down here. 36 times by 6, 36 times by 6, 216. So we've got 216 miles for the M1. Thing is, we don't want miles, we want meters. 
one mile is worth 1,600 meters. So 216 times by 1600, we'll turn it into meters. And we've got 345,600 meters. And that is the length of the M1. I'm going to divide that by two, which gives me one. We ought to write this down as well. One seven two eight zero zero one seven two eight zero zero one seven two eight zero zero. Right, so that is the length of the M1 for both of these two sections, and it's in meters. Now we need the width. The standard width of a lane on a motorway is 3.65. So 3.65 times by 6 plus the hard shoulder, which is 3.3. That's going to be times by 2 because I've got two of them. Will give me my total width for that first bit. So 3.65 times by 6. And then add the 3.3 times by 2. Gives me... 28.5, a slow moment there with the calculator. That's 28.5. And then my other one is going to be the same thing, but we're going to times by 8 for that bit. 3.65 times by 8. I need to write this out. Don't be lazy. Show all your working to your examiner. Make it easy for them to give you all the marks. Plus 3.3 times 2. And that width is 35.8. Okay, I'm going to work out these two areas and then add them together. That will give me the entire area of road that needs to be resurfaced. So 172800 times by 28.5172800 times by 35.8. 172800 times by 28.5. That gives me... Four nine two four eight zero zero, and then I'm just going to replace this bit here. Thirty-five point eight six one eight six two four zero. Okay, add these two together. Four nine two four eight zero zero. That gives me the total area. One 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 zero four. Zero. Okay, so that is my total area for the entire M1. All of that is meters squared. Now let's go back here. So it's telling me it's 15 meters per square meter. So that value is now going to be multiplied by 15. Oh, so one, six, 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 six. Five, six, zero, zero. There's a lot of sixes together there. And that is going to be, oh my God. Right. 166,665,600 pounds. That is the total cost to resurface the M1. Whew. Right. Done it. I'm happy with that. That should be fine. Let me just rewrite it up here. 166,665,600 pounds. Explain how your answer may be affected by an assumption you've made. So if we, if there were fewer, there were fewer hard shoulders, it would be cheaper. And if your assumption is that if you're going to say, well, if the road was longer, it would cost us more. If there were more lanes, it would cost us more. If there were three lanes for more percentage of the time, i.e. there'd be a little bit less road, that would be a little bit cheaper. So all of these things could factor in. And as long as you make sense and you've made a correct statement and you refer to the context, your examiner will be fine and be able to give you a big 11 marks for that question. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be spending all year uploading as much stuff as I can. Core maths, walkthroughs are really big priority. I think there's a bit of a gap in the market there unless somebody links in. Oh, yeah, this guy's already done it and then I will feel gutted. But my next project to get paper two, uh, my school study paper 2B. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to touch A and C because I don't have the experience in teaching that. 
but please look out for future videos. Have yourself a wonderful evening and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.